Welcome back to Frontline Your Sports Online. Your host Nate Jennings has Brandon with us today. He's going to be taking ownership of a brand new 2018 BMW C650 GT in that beautiful ocean blue metallic color that we like so much, right? Right. Yeah, are we excited? I'm pumped. It's a big day for you, man. Yeah. So we're going to walk around the perimeter of the motorcycle going around this exterior and most of what we're going to go over is handlebars, controls, and instrumentation. So let's get started at the front. We always give everybody a tire safety warning. Ride like you're riding in the rain for the first 50 to 100 miles as you're acclimating to a new motorcycle. Plus you have silicone coating to help pop out the mold and preserve shelf life. We got a GT model, so it has a tire pressure monitoring system. You have a straight valve stem in there, but that's also gonna be just to check our tire pressure on top of our tire pressure monitoring system I'll show you in the instrumentation. The 15 inch wheels give it more of a motorcycle feel than a scooter feel, which a lot of other manufacturers stay on smaller sizes. We have inverted forks that you can't see, but if we look up underneath of here, we have a, a nice set of inverted forks. We have a twin disc braking system with twin calipers led by steel braided brake lines. So we're gonna have a very accurate feel and precise feel with our braking system. As we come further along the back, most of what we have is aesthetics of the motorcycle. We can see the new design of the exhaust muffler that they just brought out for the last year's models. And we're sitting on a service stand right now, or our center stand. When we get to the other side, I'm gonna show you the side stand as that has a really cool feature for the parking brake for us. One of the main attributes I can show you while we're on this side of the machine, passenger heat, low and high, is located on a easy to access area right here. And we have an adjustable backrest for the pilot. So that's something that we'll get under the seat and show you how that works. We're gonna have LED lighting across the back of the motorcycle for your brake light, tail light, and your turn signals. You have illumination for your plate to keep you 50 state compliant so that you are highly visible and completely legal. We're setting on a set of Metzlers as uh, correlating tires from the front to the back, which is some nice rubber force right there. And while we're back here, I'm gonna show you our speed sensor pickup cable. That goes along parallel with our steel braided brake lines and is monitoring our rear and front wheel speed as we have ASC, automatic stability control, as well as ABS, anti-lock braking system. Two features to keep us super safe on this motorcycle. Our suspension, we can do adjustments to our suspension as it does have preload adjustment. We just have to pop this panel, get a spanner wrench and make adjustments to the suspension. I'm gonna recommend that we do that after the first service, get some dexterity into the springs and then we'll accommodate your rider weight. I'm a little on the large side. You on the large side? <laughs> I know our video earlier made me look like a pygmy man. <laughs> so one of the cool things that we have with the, with the motorcycle, I'll pull it off the center stand real quick. Notice how it's freely moving along. But as I put the side stand down, I have automatically locked this motorcycle in. So now I can park it uphill, downhill, whatever I need to do and not have the motorcycle rotate anywhere. We have two storage pockets on the front, one on the right, which is a push button, pull down, keep your goodies in here on the right hand side. Same on the left, but this side is also gonna contain a normal US size socket so that we can charge our cellular phones and all that happy jazz. Perfect angle for the camera for us to go into the back. We can re push down on the key, turn it clockwise, that releases our seat. That's gonna give us our ability to get to our three bolts to move our saddle adjustment. Okay. Also, our storage area that can accommodate up to two helmets and plenty of other goodies. We have a toolkit set to the side for us right here and LED illumination so we can actually see what is going on in our storage compartment when we're going rummaging through our goodies. Thank you for getting a battery tender and keeping this thing maintained for us. We also have a little hydraulic assist, so we actually need to force the saddle down, ensure it's locked. So and this adjustment is more up and down than back and it's forth. It's back and forth, and right now it should be in its furthest back position. Okay. I've had some of my taller customers actually remove that completely and just rock it out without that. That was my next question. Mm -hmm. And we can do that. Okay. So turning the key back off so we can turn the illumination off inside. If we turn this counterclockwise when we push in, that gives us access to our fuel filler located right here in the middle of your crotch. Okay. As we go into the instrumentation, 
We're going to turn our key on, let that cue up on the, on the board. We're going to have our conventional twist throttle, adjustable front brake lever with our master cylinder located here for the reservoir, giving us fluid levels and fluid clarity, as long as with the, the uh, rear brake assembly on this side. We have heated grips and heated seats. We can see in the instrumentation that we have an A next to it. That's automatic ambient air temperature adjustment. Those heated grips and heated seats are going to go up and down through the temperature range that it sees fit for that ambient air temperature. We can override that and go to a high or a nuclear level. That's our joke for the day because they do get super warm. We have a low level and we have our seat. Automatic, high, low, and the pillion has high and low that puts the other portion up on the visible screen for us that there. That only turns this on to put these on you absolutely. Correct. The pilot gets up front, the passenger controls independently in the rear. Okay. Then as we come across, well actually let's do the start, that's probably an important factor on this motorcycle. We want to pull in our brake lever, we have a run cycle switch right here and we push down to start. Notice how it won't start right now, I don't have my brakes activated so I'm going to pull my brakes in to allow it to start. So we are now going to go to our left handlebar control. We have our rear brake that's five position adjustable, pulling the lever out and rotating it to our desired position and finding our comfort zone for ourselves. We have a trigger switch for our high beam. As we look into our instrumentation, you can see it flashing. If I take my forefinger, push it forward, that's my constant high beam illumination. Okay. So badass 650 coming through, just need high beam rocking. We have our hazard lights, which you can now see in the instrumentation where your turn signals are going to be that we're going to showcase in a second. We have our electronic windscreen adjustment. Everybody's favorite feature and it makes you smile, doesn't it? <laughs> That's why you got it, right? Having the creature features that makes every man happy. Electronic windscreen adjustment. Now right below that, BMW does so much good wind tunnel testing that they're trying to find a perfectly calm pocket of air for you. And to maintain that, sometimes we over maintain it. We can bring the wind and divert it away from us, or we can bring and diffuse some in towards us through these channels to keep some movement of the air in front of you and not to be too super stagnant. Real quick and easy to reach up and pop out. So we're going to have our conventional horn on the bottom, turn signals left and right with pushing in for cancelization, and I'm going to go over the information button first. Right now we're on an instantaneous miles per gallon. We have our date, which we can set for ourselves, our oil check, if it's okay or not. That is our tire pressure monitoring system. It'll display front and rear tire pressure for us once we've rotated the tires and let them communicate and pick up. We have our ambient air temperature, we have our average speed, our average fuel economy, which we only have two miles on the clock so it's not going to be super good for you right now. That should be up in the 60s, potentially in the 70s. We're going to have back to our instantaneous fuel economy. The reason I held off on the trip is the trip is going to have a setup menu for us to go through. So we hit the trip meter one time, that takes us to trip one, trip two, trip A, and into our setup. We're going to hold the trip button and take us into that menu. And that's where we can set our timepiece, our date, which we'll do shortly, and our ASC. We hit the lower info button that turns our ASC off. And notice our light now is staying solid, letting us know that, Brandon, you have now made the conscious decision to turn my traction control off, and you are in control with your right wrist, all right? We can turn that back on, and the flashing of the lights will come back. Our ABS light is also flashing. That will always be on. You can't turn the ABS off. So we are good to go to exit that and get back to our normal display. Is that something that goes away once you get to a certain mile an hour? Correct. Rotate it, I'd say oh, five miles an hour, five feet. You're going to actually see those calculate. The computers have verified that they're working improperly and those lights will go away. The only time you'll see it solid is if you're having an issue with that system or if you took the time to manually override the ASC. We're going to have a tachometer on the far right, which is a bar graph. It's digital. We already went through our setup and information. We have a timepiece located at the bottom. We're going to have our fuel gauge, normal speedometer dial gauge, and that is the meat and potatoes of your C650 GT, unless you have any more in-depth questions for us today. I don't think so. I'm you're just ready to ride it. You're ready to ride, man. You can say it, man. Nate, shut up. Let me go ride my motorcycle. <laughs> I know you say that on YouTube a lot, but it's for the education because knowledge is power. 
And you can go back yep. and look and review everything that you went over with this machine with us. So I appreciate you taking a week to educate me on what I needed. So. Hey, no problem. We got you suited and ready to rock and roll. So congratulations. Thanks for watching us at Frontline Eurosports Online. Stay tuned for more action at Frontline Eurosports.